One of the things that's so good about today is that you have been patient and you have stayed with this difficult time. But look at you today, Alex and Charlie, you're looking so, you're looking so beautiful and uh, handsome. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's just great to see you at this point in your lives. This all began on March 29th, 1994. Charlie was an evening baby who took her time, as she still does, to arrive anywhere. She was a fairly easy baby and a cheery little soul who loved animals from an early age. But we, we fast forward to work and boyfriends, which is where Alex enters her world. A nice guy, bit of a strange accent, but we got used to it in the end. We planned a long weekend at Saunton Beach and Alex asked if I minded if they got married. No, please take her, I said. That's fine. And a cunning platinum was hatched to propose to her on the beach. So we took the dogs for a walk on the beach and waited and waited. <laughs> and we returned to where we were staying. So we did it again the next day. Until finally he dropped onto one knee on the beach and proposed. I think you'd all agree with me when I say my wife looks absolutely stunning. I am a, ve I am a very lucky man and I need to get used to saying the word wife. Thank you for always loving me. You are my world, and I couldn't imagine my life without you. I'm so happy that I found you, and I very much look forward to our future together. I'd like to propose a toast to my amazing wife, to Charlie. So now, on to the most two important people in the room today. Susan and Jeff the Barster. All right? <laughs> no, of course, it's Alex and Charlie. I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you for letting us share your special day. So I've never written a speech before, so when I was doing some research, it said my speech only needs to last as long as the green in bed. So that's me done for the night. 